No. But before I get into that, let me make something very clear. In its current state, ChatGPT is nowhere close to even a good junior developer. And I'm going to be completely brushing over the fact that it hallucinates, provides misinformation, that it's confidently incorrect, and it can't be trained on company knowledge systems. So beyond that, I'm going to give five reasons why ChatGPT won't replace developers. So to start off, programming has always gotten easier. We started off with punch cards, and then assembly, and then C, and now our garbage model modern ecosystem. The point of programming languages have always been to hide the hard parts. That's because developers do more than just write code. As a developer, writing code for a new feature is the easy and fun part of your job. And the skill isn't knowing everything, it's understanding the important parts. So when the business wants a new feature, they're just thinking about the feature. But as a developer, you're thinking about how you're going to solve this problem given the state of the code base, integrating with existing features, testing, error handling, scalability, and how you're going to ship a robust, reliable, and maintainable feature in a matter of a few weeks. If anything, large language models like ChatGPT are great because they make developers more productive. So let me quickly draw an equation. Developer productivity plus funding means more jobs. The more productive developers have gotten, the more software projects get funding. Software projects don't have a physical ceiling like farming. And over the years, we've seen tech companies are willing to fund anything. This is great because junior developers won't be stuck doing small menial tasks, and they'll focus on the harder problems narrowing the skill gap. But let's assume the worst case scenario, where artificial intelligence can write and debug its own code, it can turn an English spec sheet into software, maintain existing software, and companies fully adopt the technology without any pushback and they integrate it immediately. You'll still need people to sit around and audit what the AI is doing. And this has already happened with IT people like system administrators, where the cloud basically abstracted away a lot of their job. But the great sysadmins used their fundamental understanding of IT infra, picked up new skills, and went into some of the highest paying roles in tech. Very similarly, developers are learning junkies. There are very few professions where someone has to always be learning, always building and pushing themselves to stay on top of their game. Software is not like law, where the years of your experience matter. Software is very unique in the sense that the quality of your experience matters and how much you've been pushing yourself over the years. Fundamentally, there are two kinds of people that think AI will replace developers. People who want clicks on their content and people who have never written high-quality production-level software. More often than not, this Venn diagram overlaps. Software is not manual data entry. Software cannot be built on a conveyor belt. As much as MBAs like to think otherwise, the programmer is not replaceable. And even if they are, they're smart enough to find new markets. So how does ChatGPT really impact software jobs? The era of the mediocre developer is over. The last decade saw a lot of bad developers getting high paying jobs because of the amount of investment that was being made into tech. Eventually that investment will return, but the bar for getting a job is going to go up. So if you're only in software for the money or to get a remote job, and you don't have a natural competence in problem solving or decomposition, then there are a lot of other jobs that suit your natural skill set and you can make a ton of money remotely. What you should be worried about more than ChatGPT are software engineers from developing countries with great communication skills and engineering skills that can work remotely. But that's been happening for the past 30 years, and developers in highly developed countries are being paid more than ever. And that's because amazing engineers are worth their weight in gold. Someone that can build high quality software, has great soft skills to operate in a company, and can work really hard will always bring value. Am I one of those engineers? Heck no, I'm a TS writing soy dev latte. Can I be one of those engineers? If I work hard on the right thing, I don't see why not. Thank you for your time. I'm Big Box.